You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? All right, I'm Laszlo. Slim Fast, Julia, and Snow Cone is the Church of Laszlo. Just a bar. Talk about life, what's going on in it. Dumb things we found on the internet, which I'm guessing this is it. Yep. Uh, unwritten rules of sex. Yeah, unwritten rules of sex people were sharing over the weekend. And, of course, uh, as a man. Did you make a mess, clean it up? Uh, that might be on here somewhere. But, it, it, you know, it's, it's good to hear from women, of course, as a guy, because, you know, these are the kind of conversations you don't necessarily have like before or right. after sex hey what do you like what am i doing wrong where can i improve it's These not are like unwritten rules. and you try to mix them with life too i'm trying to think of you know just things your parents taught you like yeah. you know hey clean your room right right right, right. exactly you know? yet yet when i say thank you which is something my parents taught me to sure, do they please say and it's thank weird. you yeah they say it's weird so can the, we please have sex right thank you the top Seems thing fair. the top thing this woman said on here was that if a woman um moans you know makes noises during sex you are not to comment about it. She says that the odds are they are totally in the moment and trusting Why you, would you at comment the most. About it? In the, oh, well, that's what I was wondering. Like, do you comment? What is the comment that is made? Cool. Is, right. Is the comment like. Um, that's fun. You know, oh, yeah, you're feeling good. I mean, yeah, that's. Be, and whatever you say there is awkward. Yeah. Actually, don't talk at all unless it's just horribly uh, filthy and you're right. throwing it against the wall. That's my, that's my weak point. I'll do that. And they say, start talking. I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. I don't think this is going to help. Uh, here you go, Laszlo. The second top thing on here, number two, is team cleanup. Clean up as a team when you're done, right? Both of you should work together. Don't don't make one person do all the cleanup. All right. Fair what enough. What do you think? You gave me. I don't a know look. what you got to clean. I don't, I don't know what you're cleaning. What you're Why not. Why does cleaning. it sound like a closing shift at a restaurant? Right. Yeah. Don't forget your side work. <laughs> well, you know, like you got to get stuff back in order. Get the house back in order, the bedroom back in order, the couch back mm-hmm. in order, whatever it is. Someone's got to do it. I'm going to be over here rolling silverware. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, rolling the cord around the toy or something. I mean, you got to you got to clean up, put the high heels <laughs> away, all that mop. stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh this this person said and a lot of people agreed with this that and this is not like during sex. They say before sex, you should have a nice dinner and try and be romantic during dinner. Mm. And also be careful about what you eat, obviously. Yeah. But have a nice romantic dinner before you go into sex. Now, I don't normally, you know. Yeah, I don't love that. That's not something, That seems like a lot of extra work. I, oof, I don't know. Now, the next one that a lot of people comment on, it's very difficult for me to explain this, but I'm going to try my best, okay? If you should, if there should be some sort of uh, accident, right? Something you weren't planning on. Like what? Uh, okay, so like say you're uh, wearing a condom, okay? Yeah. And you think the condom broke. Or say you weren't wearing a condom. But the plan was, you know, that, that this was okay, only, this okay, was only okay, temporary. Okay, I got it. You must say something. Do not keep it to yourself. If you think something happened. It, oh, it's like uh, at TSA. If you see something, say something. Y- yes. If you know that something <laughs> happened, don't keep it a secret, which yeah. apparently a lot of guys do. This would be a rule for guys, right? You got to say something. Let them know. Don't just be like, oof, boy, I think... I think I might okay. have messed up there. Well, that's a fair enough rule, isn't it? Lazo's looking at me like, I ain't saying anything. I No, I'm not saying, I don't know what, I mean, don't, I'm, people know? Don't they know? I don't know, actually, because I have no idea what's going on in there. I'll I mean, I feel like you would know. I feel like men would know before women would know. I feel like you, you would, would feel, know. You would feel like. I feel like you would know. Why are you saying that like that? I feel <laughs> well, like you would know. <laughs> I feel, I mean, maybe I don't know, but I feel like you would know. But I, don't I feel know. like it's more. I know for on, sure. Right, we know for I sure. But I feel like you would know. There's a lot happening. Okay. I, and, I feel like it, you guys would know more. Okay. Yes, we and know if, for sure. And so, if we already know, just we can be like, yeah, I felt that. Yes, <laughs> there you go. Now the or next I one. I know. <laughs> the next one, man, there were thousands of people talking about this, and I thought, boy, Lazo is not going to like this one because I'm not so sure that I agree with this one either. But it's co- from a guy. And he says that the problem with sex most of the time with guys is that guys don't get enough sensual touching. He says that before you actually start to have sex, women should take the time or men whatever Stop it. to touch his skin, to These scratch guys, scratch don't his These guys, back, I hate them. Play with his hair, you know, maybe make circles on his them. back with your fingertips. That helps with the anxiety. This guy's just dying for a woman to DM him, so he plays that role. He doesn't really want that. He says it makes him more relaxed and comfortable. Okay. okay. Look, I mean, people are different. I, I no, they're not. All right, now this not one, that different. This one at one point was the top thing people were discussing. When I first got onto this list, like on Saturday, I looked and this was the number one thing people were discussing. If someone makes a noise, a bodily noise, you are not to address it of at all. Of course not. Well, 
Right. I mean, what are you going to say? Like, Nothing. I don't, but this became a big thing. Like, oh, no, no. Uh, you, can, you can talk about it. No, no, no. no. Stop. Just, just say there's no. Nothing. Uh, you, nothing, right? Th- right? That's it. Now, this <clears throat> seems like an obvious one, but someone says that uh, both sides should be having fun. It should be fun. If someone seems like they're stressed or anxious or whatever, then it's time to regroup and figure it out because the whole point of sex is that it should be fun and both are people should be having fun. Are they asking to have a meeting in the middle of sex? No, if it looks like someone's, if it looks like someone's not having hey, that much fun. Hey, you don't look like you're, you're on a seven on a scale of one to ten of yeah. fun. We need to regroup. And what is fun? You know, I don't There's know. There's different kinds of fun. Yeah. You know, like... Uh, I'm not, and I know some people are for the giggling and the laughing, and this is a lot of fun. Like we're playing a game. No, yeah, I, I'm a more, you know, I like competitive fun. Well, right, and part uh, of it is you tell me that if you're in the zone, then maybe your zone doesn't. But look I like... know people do that, like ha ha ha, blah, and they talk. That ain't me. Yeah, right. That's different. Well, I mean, if they look like they're hating their lives, yes, check in. Exactly. I think that's what they're trying but... to say. Just make sure. But if it, if they're in the zone. You know, some people, because they, you know, it could be a whatever. I don't know. I, that's a but, tough I moment. But, I'm, I, but all I'm saying is don't have, like, hey, you don't look like you're having the most fun you could right, have. Right, that would be really weird. For yeah. having sex with me. Yeah. Right. So tell me what I need to do. Now, the next yeah, one. don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> the next one, 42,000 people agreed 42, with this. 42,000? Yeah, they talked about this and agreed with it and said that before sex, even if the other person doesn't ask, you need to give a full STD history and expect okay, a full STD history from the, Oh, see, that's a Gen X thing. <laughs> Why would you? You need full, to let them. Well, if what you I had in the past, seven yeah. years ago? Yep. If, hey, if, I just want to tell you. Uh, and, and here's a list of the girls I've slept with. If you'd like to what, check my resume, you don't have to do that. As long as you don't have. I mean, obviously, if you have an STD, don't sleep with someone. But you don't have to tell someone that you had uh, gonorrhea in 1984. That's ridiculous. Yeah, if it it's seems healed, odd. if it's healed and done, you're good. But yeah. like, if you, you have anything current, yeah, you have yeah, to disclose. Anything that. current, you should get full disclosure. I thought that was the rule too. Like right. I didn't know. And someone <clears throat> asked, I'm like, "Well, are we talking about now or what?" Because if we're going back to like 23. Then I don't know what we're talking about. Now this one, Lazo, thirty thousand women are begging men to do this. Okay, go wash up R- right before sex. Go wash up. Wash your butt. Yes, yeah. wash, you know, that whole area. Soap it, wash sure. it, scrub it, be clean, because men are oftentimes... I think that should just always be the rule, no matter what you do in life. Yeah, always. and they they said, a lot of women said that men seem to be totally unaware, because once they make a guy aware, he's self-conscious, he's not, it's not like he's like, oh yeah, well I don't care. They care, they just don't know, they don't realize You gotta it. have a little foresight, that's right. all. Right, Like, you're like, hey, this train is coming down the track. Yep. It ain't here yet. Yeah. But... I can tell. Good 20, 25 minutes we may be, so you you know, excuse yourself you for a, a minute, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yourself a window, excuse yourself for a minute, and then they come back. Little, they make a little freshening. Oh, yeah. dude wipes. Lazo accidentally sent, sent me an army gross of dude wipes, okay? Mm-hmm. It fills up my entire closet. I had to move the vacuum. I've been yep. using those things. Dude wipes and top cock. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you what. Look it up. You can buy it. It's good for guys. Do it. You get everything taken care of. And then if someone says, what are you doing? You, I think it's okay as a guy, too, to say, I'm getting cleaned up. Yeah. I don't think that's it's got weird. a big rooster on it. It's fine. Yeah. Now, the next one people say. I'm not Did you look no. it up? No, I mean, you said the rooster. I feel better now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it yeah. is. It's a brand. And you just, you know, like anything else. Yep. Yeah. I've never tried, but you actually see me those dude wipes. I've been using those like crazy. They were great, right? I had to order more of them. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Uh, now, a lot of people said the next rule of sex is that you need to make noise. Don't sit there and be silent. You got to make some sort of noise so that the other person knows that you're having fun or into it or whatever. Don't be quiet the whole time. Now, you just said don't talk. I get that. Well, uh, I mean, I talk. It's just you know, right? It depends. And, but also, don't make noise to to feel that you have to make noise. Like, don't yeah. make, don't be intentional about it to where you're like, oh, I haven't made a noise yet. Woof. <laughs> yeah, I do like woof. But I get what right. they're saying. Right. If there's right. complete right. silence on one end, woof. just total silence. Woof woof. <laughs> woof woof woof. Is that what Julia does? Yeah. Yeah. That's what she said. Grr. I know she woof, growls. Woof. Right? No, I just thought of a noise. I'm sorry. That was the first thing woof. I thought of. Right. Woof, woof. Uh, now, this is a thing that... So weird. This is a thing but for awesome. guys. Like, it'd be awesome. Apparently, guys uh, don't know this, and we're bad at it, and a lot of us do it. I'm, you know, I'm not going to admit whether or not I do it or not. But if a woman says, I'm close, that does not mean to change what you're doing. You don't start all of a sudden going I faster. I think when anybody whatever. says that, that means... Don't change. Right. Keep doing right. exactly what you're doing. I got to admit, I will admit, I've been guilty of like, oh, okay. 
What do you need? You're, you know, so you're close. To me, I'm close makes me think like I'm doing something that almost pleases you, but you need me to do I a little. Avoid. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so sometimes right. I'm like, yeah, but they're saying, and it seems like, I mean, there were tens of thousands of women on here saying, yes, that means just keep doing exactly what you're doing. Is that fair? I think, yeah, I think that's both parties. And that's yeah. the rule. Now, Julie, I wanted to scroll down here because I know that this is – I've heard you say it before, but I had to scroll down a little bit. But a lot of people wolf, talked wolf. about it. About 15,000 <laughs> About fifteen thousand people I'm said – I'm just going to text you that randomly no, for the I rest just, of our lives. Woof, woof, woof. I wanted to just give something strange that you would say because you felt you had to. It doesn't mean – that's what I do. Uh, now, there's okay, there's the safe word, which is fine. We know about the safe word. That was a rule. But I want to skip that because I want to get down to Julia's because, Julia, 15,000 people agreed with you. They said right before sex, go wash your butt. Wash? Yeah. Which I've heard yeah, Julia say. I mean, do it before a job interview. Yes. yes. Like, do it before Before a massage, anything. for sure. Yes. And now, Lazo, with the bidet. The bidet is easy. It knocks it out. You're you fine. You just got it right. Right. There's Every a time where you could one. be concerned, but you now go you're get like, a shower and, boom. Yeah. And I'm not saying, like, do that because you think that something's going to happen there. Like, no. Just make yourself smell just fresh. Just freshen it up. That yes. thing gets and, swampy. And not having a bidet, you're really... You're making your life so much harder yep. than it needs to be. And if you go to his house Great. and he doesn't have a bidet, I'd be a little skeptical, right? Like, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. It's it's one of those things now in 2022 I feel like we should all have. Now, did we miss any rules? Those were the top ones there. No, yeah, it's the two cardinal rules. Do unto others and wash your butt. Yep. And the and, and safety word, I guess. You know, that's fine. I know Lazo. I, I used to know Lazo's. I don't know what it is anymore. Uh, you, orange? Yeah. Yeah. Is, it, is that like a common safety word or something? Did or? you mean it by the color or the fruit? Uh, I just I think nothing rhymes with it, right? Because you know, if you That's, say yeah. like you know, my safe word is you know, Wolf. backwards, right? And I'm like, oh. Right, Damn, right. That's not the safety word. <laughs> right. You may stop safety because word this just got weird. Safety word is turn me over. And right, like, yeah. Oh, okay. Like all other words could be confusing, but orange is It shouldn't just, come up. It just <laughs> jumps out. Like, it's yeah. really well orange. thought out. Yeah. yeah. So come up with one beforehand, and there you go. Yeah. And those are the rules. Now, remember, have fun, right? That's the number one rule. Just have fun. Thanks. Sure. Or dominate your opponent. Okay. Let's turn the mics off, Stokone, quickly. The Church of Laszlo.